right? See, this eager eager is a platform made by medical students as well as tutors and professors, which aim for providing knowledge related to career as well as how to achieve it. And we'll come to know gradually. So let's dive directly into our topic of today. That is UK PG pathway and PLAB. See our focus remains here to the people till fourth year. The in current interns and the post interns. And uh, by this, let me introduce myself to you. I am Raza Shahabuddin Ghari, a current intern in JLNMC Bhagalpur, Bihar. So now comes the main. Why do you want to? Why do we want to go for the PG in UK or the PLAB pathway? See, it is because apart from the degree being valid in UK, it is valid in Middle East, Ireland, and of course in India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, and with certain limitations regarding practicing as a doctor in countries like Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. So this is the very first benefit. Like the scope for our degree, the PG degree. Now, as we know that here we have to compete so much for the limited number of seats, the PG seats. So, in PG pathway in UK, especially when we talk about non-surgical branches like pedia, medicine, psychiatry. Among those branches, the competition is far, far less as compared to what is in available seats of India. Now, talking about the pay scale, suppose if a person has done his internship and then he has gone for the UK pathway, right after his internship, he'll be provided with a salary of about 1.5 lakhs per month. If he doesn't will to join any orders here orders means apart from the eight hour duty daily and the weekend duties so if a person just wants to work for eight hours and only for five days in a week he'll take home about 1.5 lakhs but if he does orders also he'll be having a salary of about 2.5 lakh and all these figures are excluding the taxes as well as your living expenses. So basically this is your savings. Now, there is no tuition fees for the whole duration of post-graduation that you do in UK. So it is like totally free and in addition you are given a salary. Now, after you have resided in UK for about five years, five long years, you can also apply for permanent residence. And once you have a permanent residence, you don't have to apply, reapply visa after two to three, every two to three years. And after you have a permanent residence, then following one year, you can apply for a UK citizenship if one wants to. Then here, this is the thing. Like suppose as an intern, we, are, we work here for our night shifts as well as in weekends. Or as a JR, we work here on nights as well as on weekends. But in India, we are not provided extra for it. What is our salary? That's what we get. But suppose in the same case, in UK will be provided a hike of about 37 percentage for a night shift as well as for weekends. So this will add up into the basic pay. Now, the good part here it is we have provided maternity leaves 
paternity leave as well as compassionate leave compassionate leave here means suppose if someone dies unfortunately in any one's of family then they will be they will be allowed to take leave so that they can visit the demised person and in addition there will be about 25 to 27 days of yearly leaves but the catch is like you cannot take this whole 25 or 27 days in a row it will be split into three halves now as we all know uk is a developed country so we will be able to acclimatize ourselves with the latest techniques as well as in hand will be able to get the latest tools to train with and if suppose if a person wants just five day work eight hour daily then will be having a good work life balance and even this work life balance will be able to sustain in clinical branches not just non clinical branches now the amount of money that all of us who are planning for pg in uk will be putting in and the whole amount will be compensated you will be able to retrieve the whole amount within first 3 to 4 with the first 2 3 to 4 months of your salary now plab as said in the beginning plab is a comparatively easier examination as compared to the neat pg or the upcoming next but one has to remember plab is not a exam for pg it is exam by which a uh, international medical graduate because here we are of india and once we go to another country will be international medical graduates so there it just provides us with a license to practice in uk the main pg examination is msra that is multi specialty recruitment assessment and here the benefit what we get is as in india our system the neat pg or next is completely based upon mcq examination mcq questions multiple choice questions but in the msr the pg exam of uk just 33 percentage will be of mcq and the rest 66 percent is split into two which is like 33 percentage will get from cv and the other 33 percentage it is from clinical examination now see this is taken from the official national nhs website nhs is a website like it is a government site for uk and right after our internship will be reaching at this point this fy2 level this much and see this much this figures all these figures are in pounds so if we have to get in to inr the indian national rupee it is just like add two two zeros after the figures and this is a yearly pay and this is the basic pay see here this is yearly pay like it is somebody is working from monday to friday just eight hours and above this this basic pay above this there will be about 30 to 40 percentage hike if a person is willing to work like night shifts night duties apart from 8 hours if he is working for like 10 hours so that extra 2 hours he'll be paid 137 percentage as well as he is he is working in the saturdays and sundays the weekends and see one could see here it is like doctors in training training means in simple to put in very simple words like you you are being pg so if you are doing pg 